monsters abound here, a YouTuber, several unicorns short of a magical kingdom. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 26 of my Ungrim campaign. Everything's going quite swimmingly despite the end of the world occurring. Uh, unfortunately, we've got Ozpin up here and Ozpin, frankly, is a badass. He tanked Minotaurs with his face, so I think he can probably deal with Archeon, should he ever turn up. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Warris. Warwick is hunting down vampires. They're being... Vlad and Isabella are just running running away at this point. Uh, they're, yeah, they're not doing very well. It looks like they, they 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 came back to Sylvania and failed, and now we're just gonna we're gonna mop them up. Now we we can we've dealt with the greenskins. Now we can concentrate on the problem that well. I say we've dealt with the greenskins. They confederated with Skarsnik. We now now need to deal with Skarsnik, but we're gonna do that anyway. So we've got uh, Ungram. Indeed. And we've got Belagar. That's it, with his, with his spoopy ghost chaps. And Billy Connolly, who, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm I'm debating whether to actually put a giant slayer in Ungrim's army, because they he, he does seem to get them killed. We do seem to, we do, we do seem to go through, oh, the dragon slayers, isn't it? Dragon slayer? Drag, yeah, Dragon Slayer. Sorry, Dragon Slayer. Yeah, we, we go through Dragon Slayers at quite a rate. Um, we could always get more. So we could do the Take the Oath. It's only 4,500. Dragon Slayer spawned at Faction Capital. Yeah, we could do that, maybe. I mean, but I say, we, we do... I mean, to be fair, we're doing exactly what they want, which is getting them killed. But it's... It's... <sighs> The recruitment drive it is it's tricky it is tricky to get the the adequate candidates for the employment opportunity of going out and fighting big shit and getting murdered so definitely want to upgrade that we've got money is is looking pretty good we can actually get another army up we could actually get another army up i think i might do that Mind you, the thing is, uh, how much is it going to cost? So that's going to be... Actually, I can I can check this, can't I? Right, if I were to recruit another Lord, it would increase... Right, so that would cost me 3,600. So, say, 3,800-ish just to recruit another Lord without having to recruit, then, the units on top of that. So that's still quite expensive, but it's fine. So let's end the turn and uh carry on we do i might sack did i sack wissenberg it's been a while since i've played this campaign to be honest i've um obviously been doing a little bit of streaming and recording some croc gas so it's been a little while since i played this i tend to sort of play them in batches so it's kind of if you're switching if you're if i'm just playing one campaign it's fairly straightforward but when i'm switching between them I'm, i find it's very difficult to remember where you are when you come back to it. Got in a lot of trouble at the start, though, getting out of uh, Ungrim's starting area. But uh, once he's out of it, look at him. Just all over the place. Isabella, uh, yeah. I say, I think, I think this little invasion of Sylvania has not gone well for the vampires. It looks like they're retreating again. Yeah, off they go. So I think Warwick is probably just going to go and hunt them down to... Uh, does it work bad they've got? Go and deal with that. And here come the Chaos Stacks. Very, very slowly. I They're not in any rush, are they? Hello, Orion. Do you want a non -aggr I keep meaning to install that mod. No, I don't want a military alliance, Orion. Don't want a military alliance. Now, of course, unless we can confederate with the dwarves, um, I'm never going to be able to trade with anyone, basically. Except, I mean, I am trading with the dwarves and... Ki oh dear, what happened there? Big blob just disappeared. Talabekland. Beastmen, maybe? Kazrak? He did, he did slip away. Sneaky little guinea. Oh, yeah, you. I forgot about you. Yeah. What am I going to do about you? 
I bet you're going to head for Myrmidons and try and take my pots away from me. You bastard. Yes. Okay. So Belagar is fortunate. But her limb render thing, guild, yeah, fine. Steel technology, steel technology, fine, fine, fine. Right, so we don't have any defences here. So, do we want to get a new... Oh, we could get John Rhys Davies. We got rid of him. We had him. He got rid of him. Slidy Dwarf. Should we get Slidy Dwarf back? Yeah, let's get Slidy Dwarf back. Myrmidons. What can we get in Myrmidons? Slayers. Um, get some Slayers then. Literally, that's, that's what you've got. Uh, the garrison there is not what I would call... Great. It's not filling me with with enthusiasm. Uh, right, Banner of the Lost Hold. I think it has to go on the Lost Hold Avengers 2, the Revenge of the Lost Avengers. And Banner of Eternal Flame. Ah, oh, yes. That was... Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's give it to... Do I want to give it to Robbie Coltrane? Weapon damage. Who's... Do I give it to Richard? I give it to Richard's Avengers. I don't know who Richard is. I don't know what what happened to to warrant a revenging, but that's that's going on. Build those siege towers. Uh, right. Let's, I think we I think we did this last time. So let's just raise it. Oh, the other trickster shard. That's not bad. It's not bad to have. What have you got? You've got. The Fiery Ring of Thorai. Which is actually quite nice. So I think I'll... We haven't got any of those. Okay, well... Belagar, have a Luckstone. You've got the Shield of Defiance. So Luckstone, that's going to make you even more tanky. Oh god, we've got Who's skill there? points all over the shop. Um, Mountaineering. I do like your Bugman's Rangers. So we'll do that. Uh, Jack Purvis, you can have, oh god, I don't know, uh, a blade shield. Sure. And then Mike Edmonds is going to have... Do you want a little cleanse corruption? No, let's do a little scouting. We could use magic items. So that'll be good. Right. Now, I think... I think John Rhys Davis is probably okay there. In fact, what we might do... is let's get a... okay let's get three giant slayers there just for shit it's only going to take one turn to recruit so that's fine we're going to chase i know that's upset the empire but frankly right i mean probably also your empire back because Currently, it's looking a little bit fragmented, isn't it? But don't worry, we'll, we'll sort that out. We've got, we got Vlad on the run. Kind of need walls there. That, we'll sort that out once we've got um, Karak Norn, though. That'll be fine. Uh, Ozpin. Right, what we're going to do with you is we're going to... Are we already in Ambush Stance? Oh, we can't Ambush Stance because... Yeah, because we're right next to the Doobie Bots it. Um... Let's do let's, let's ambush stance there. Let's see if we can draw them in. Because Kislev have got quite a big army. What we're doing, we're letting Kislev draw them in. And then we're going to smash them together. Probably. I don't know. Ozpin, I have high expectations for you to destroy that Chaos Horde incoming. It's a big Chaos Horde, though. To be fair, he does have immortality. So if anything does go horribly wrong, he'll be absolutely fine. Oh, not, oh, poor, poor Carl. Piffledorf is gone. I mean, to be fair, maybe he should have 
friggin' defended it, eh, Carl? No matter. We will sort him out. We'll let you get your empire back, Carl. Because I'm good like that. This Chaos Horde is being very lazy when it comes to destroying the world. They are really not... They're not rushing it, are they? Sort of just taking the sights, meandering around. No worries. Right. If I had Lightning Strike on Ozpin, I... I feel fairly good about this. As it is, I'm not... I'm not 100% sure. I was hoping... Hmm. Oh no, Aiden Turner's been wounded by a... By a... By a Melissa Rutet. He was probably trying the moves on and... Uh, didn't go so well. Aiden, you do spend a lot of your time... Wounded. Um, I know you love taking your shirt off in slow motion, but maybe you should keep it on. Just might help the, you know... Limit the amount of shankings you get. Right, Kislev is running away. That I was kind of hoping for a you know a big united front, not them running away screaming. You just can't get the allies these days, can you? Ah, uh, Skaven. Do I deal with the Skaven? I probably should help with the Skaven, shouldn't I? Okay, we might we might need some Ozpin might need some assistance. I was hoping to sort of help with with Kislev, but Kislev seemed to don't want to want to play. So um, right, you know what? We're going to declare war on Clan Mulder. Yes, we're going to call our allies to help. You're going to run away, but you can't get far enough. What do you got? That is quite a scary Skaven army, actually. That's a lot of Death Glow bombardiers. They are awful. Uh, help abomination is fine. Warp lightning cannons are nasty. Yep, that's it's quite a strong army to be fair. Ospin's gonna have his uh his his job cut out for him to finish off this. Skaven armies are always somewhat difficult to deal with when they've got those units that make them dangerous in it, and those things are things like warp lightning cannons, the death glow. Bombardiers, all very nasty. So first things first, we're going to try and take these warp lightning uh, cannons out of commission using the sky hammer. But basically, we're just going to drop bombs on the crew, just try and break them, anything we can to deal with them. So far, it's going quite well, actually. I didn't think the sky hammer would be quite so effective. But he's been doing sterling damage there. I mean, one of those warp lightning cannons, we will we'll destroy one, and they're, one's down to about half, one's down to about a quarter. Good work! Meanwhile, we've had sneaky clan... Now, I was ready for the clan rats, but not ready enough, unfortunately. So my slayers are moving in to clear that up, and we, we have to clear that up throughout the battle as they just throw more and more uh, menace from below at us and try and deal with our artillery. And our slayers are going to be rushing back and forth to deal with that. Warp Lightning Cannon is getting some shots in there. You can see they're already doing a lot of damage. The Sky Hammer's managed to break one of them. And now we're going to concentrate on the second one. We do have also a Plague Claw Catapult. We're going to need to deal with that. In comes a Hell Pit Abomination. Hell Pit Abomination is not so much of a threat, really. What is a threat are these Death Glow Bombardiers. They do a lot of damage. If you let them get close enough. So we're going to concentrate Thunder of Fire on those Death Glow Bombardiers, try and kill them as quickly as possible. So they don't do that. Now the Storm Vermin, they're nasty, but they're not, they shouldn't be too, too difficult to deal with. There's Ospin at the front, you can see Death Glow Bombardiers just do, they've only got a few volleys off and they're already doing horrendous amounts of damage. 
But fortunately, our Thunderers have done their work. Look at that, thinning them out, wiping them out. Our artillery's been focusing, firing on them as well, just trying to break them, get rid of them. Done. Slayers continue to try and keep the artillery crew safe by dealing with those clan rats. And the Skaven Center has basically broken. Ospin's seen them off no problem. Our flanks, however, are looking a little bit more mm, flaky. We've got uh, Dave O'Gorman, he's coming in trying to deal with the Hell Pit Abomination. He's just looking at the moment. Is he going to give it a little swing? There he goes. Nice work. More clan rats being spawned, of course. Now our Thunderers are free to flank around and try and deal with those units. So you can see the Thunderers here concentrating fire on that Hell Pit Abomination. And he goes down and he spawns a unit of Skaven Slaves. Either he comes back at 50% health or he spawns a unit of Skaven Slaves when he dies. And the Skaven Slaves, obviously the, the less bad thing because they spawn and almost usually immediately break. The concentrating fire on this flank. We've got some Death Runners coming to join in. There's a big old melee here, but the Thunderers thinning it out very, very quickly. As well as the catapults who are focusing fire on this little blob here. It's nice and packed. That's what we like to see. Just huge, massive casualties being dealt there. Huge blobs of Skaven getting thrown up in the air as artillery hits. Thunderers continue to just thin out units as they come back to the fight. Those warp fire throwers being dealt with. Ozpin's chasing the Grey Seer off. And... The Skyhammer has just chased down the uh, the crew, fought them in combat, killed them. Good job. Skaven, I mean, had enough. Fling off in the distance. Thunder is going to just just see him off with a few volleys. At least kids left safe for the moment. I mean, until that giant Chaos Horde arrives, anyway. For the moment, it's safe. You know what? I was a little bit dubious about taking the Sky Hammer. But I think dealing with those Warp Lightning Cannons would have been significantly harder without it. And they would have done a lot more damage. And so that, I think that worked out rather well. Um, I could take that. Nah, screw it. Kill. Right. Oh, we've got a Silver Horn of Vengeance. When winded, the Silver Horn sounds a clear note that brings hope to dwarves and foreboding doom to their enemies. Uh, 40 meters in range, 12, just, 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 just 12 charge bonus. I mean, it's not bad, have that. Uh, Brewmaster, yeah, that's fine, okay. Setting off. Okay, let's go and, uh, I think, as, does Prague have defenses? Sort of. Um, I'm a little bit vexed with Kislev running off into the hills as soon as Chaos arrives. That's not, you know, come on guys, have some backbone. Oh well, uh, let's go and assist with uh, with Balthazar over here, dealing with Lennart von Karstein. And I think what we're going to... Do we want to... Friends of the Empire, come. We don't have a alliance with you, which means we won't... Well, will we help you in battle? I don't know. I'm not sure if we... Uh, where's somewhere I'm not going to get bloody attrition Lord of the from being in a swamp. There. Right, if I go there, I should be in range to assist if I can assist. Failing that, they'll have to deal with it themselves. Right, and we've got some giant slayers here. Uh, let's pick up some Thunderers 275. What are Quarrelers? Just going to grab some Thunderers, I think. I just like Thunderers. It's just how I roll. Uh, let's get walls here, because that's going to be quite important. Do I want to get just... Yeah, may as well get some... Some more cash. More cash would be good. We've got unassigned skill points. Kenny... Baker. Hmm. 
Let's have more range on our artillery. That sounds quite... That's quite uh, Dino Gorman, good job fighting those Skavens. Let's give you... Sure, Slayer Cult. More, more weapon attack for your Slayers. That seems fine. In fact, what you could do is we could give you the Silver Horn of Vengeance. And the armor of silvered steel, despite the fact you're not wearing anything, but that's fine. And have some magic resistance. Sure. That seems fine. In fact, can we, can we, can we, can we? What weapon can we make? Can we make some, can we make a nice weapon? Chilling aura. Hmm. Perfect figure. Elfbane. Okay, well, let's go with... Let's go with Chilling Aura. Let's make the Gatekeeper's Hammer. But I think... Um... Ulspin, do you already have one of those? No, you've got Perfect Vigor. So we'll give Dino Gorman... You can have the Gatekeeper's Hammer. You can lead your Slayers into battle. That sounds pretty good. Peter Dinklage. Can we maybe... I don't know. No, we can't because we don't have any money. Just go and hang around near the Chaos Warriors. Beyond your comprehension. It doesn't actually look bad. I, I hate Hell Cannons with a vengeance, but... I just got Chaos Warriors who I don't think are going to have a good time against Thunderers. I think they're going to have a distinctly bad time against Thunderers. They're not going to enjoy life being filled full of... Carl... Oh, Carl. You make such poor life choices. Okay. We'll get Belagar to go lay siege to Nullan and burn it to the ground. Or maybe sack it. A little sacking. Get some cash. That could be good. Build some more toolmakers. Get some more income. Because then we can afford more uh, armies, units. Right, I, th I think, yeah, Volkgrad, yeah, very much trashed. I could... Problem is, if I'm near Prague, what they'll do is lay siege to the city and then jump me with multiple stacks. And then we can't reinforce each other. Which is a bit of a problem. Did... Hang on. Hang on. Ulf Overson, did you just try to assassinate Peter Dinklage? You dick. An absolute cad. And someone stuck the Sword of Cain back where it belongs. Yeah, I might might need some help here. Maybe Ospin could use some assistance. Or lightning strike. But mostly I think assistance would probably be good. I might would I get I don't I don't know what don't know what battle map I'd get. do I Right, well first the clan will die by my right, that's it. Have it. Dick. I'm trying to assassinate Peter Dinklage, and Peter Dinklage is going to assassinate you right back the in the face. And then he's going to 
spread public order. Oh, he's got two skill points. Okay, and he's also gonna... Uh... Have a rune of Grimnir. Sure, that's fine. Do I attack? No, I, I think you might be right there. Um... Am I... I am in reinforcement range, aren't I? Heading out. If you say so, Beardling. Let's try that. It's... If they attack the city, I should be able to come in as reinforcements and help, assuming they don't spot me. Just a bit of a... It's a bit of an ask. Um, but we might be able to retreat away if, if they do attack. Maybe. Still. Okay. Right, let's hit Nullum. Could I... Uh, uh, you know what? Let's just... Hang on. Let's just continue the siege. Let's continue the siege. You don't have any... No, you don't have any special sort of walls or anything. Uh, so defences. You do have a lot of Orc Biggins. But that's about it. I think we can... I think we can do this. I think... Yeah. Yeah, I'm fit. Yeah. Yeah. You need Siege Towers and you can just make your own entrance. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Uh, so we've taken down the towers and we've made a hole in the wall here. The Bugman's Rangers have already been doing great work at thinning down some units on the walls here. They do, um, you know what? I would say actually, maybe better than Thunderers. Never thought I'd say that, but better than Thunderers. So they've been, they've been doing great work. I think I might need more Bugman's Rangers. So making a second hole over here. You can see the green skins have got uh, large blobs of Orc Biggins. Look at the Buckman's Rangers just tearing through these Orc Biggins there. Murderous. I mean, look at their... They've got 58 missile damage. That's a lot of missile damage. Yes, yes. It's well. a lot of missile damage. So they're doing a lot of damage to these Orc Biggins. Uh, obviously, they have no shield, so that's good. Well, for us, it's not good for them, obviously. And now we're moving our units forward. There's the other hole there. Excellent. However, it has used most of the ammunition to, to fulfill that by taking down the towers and creating two holes. But uh, you know what? That's fine. The artillery's done its work. You can get a few more kills maybe just over there. But that's, you know, that's fine. We're now going to move the Iron Drakes forward. There they go. Look at those lads. Look amazing. Absolutely fantastic. And we're going to relight these Orc Biggins fire. As take that once sang. Yep, that'll do it. Five kills. That's yeah, not bad. It's not bad. Keep at it, boys. See what happens. So Bugman's Rangers just expelling all their ammunition, killing as many... Gr look, look at the huge piles of corpses on the wall. That's all Bugman's Rangers. Excellent work. Cutting down several units. I think uh, it's 90 kills, 90 kills, 66 kills. The Night Goblins have taken up position. That's, uh, that's, not, that's not ideal, guys, is it? You, you're wearing very flammable robes. Although I think the Iron Drakes have had their fire turned off for some reason. I think I turn it on right about now. Yep, that'll do it. So, uh... That's, that's roasted green skin for you. Huge piles of incinerated bodies. Those night goblins be reduced to about half a unit. The rest of the green skins seem to be congregating around the the gate there. 
Not entirely sure that needs defending, guys. You might want more... I mean, surely the giant hole in the wall is more of a concern, but you know what? Fine. You do you. We've got the long beard with great weapons just climbing up onto the wall there. Just going to deal with these goblin archers. That should be fairly easy. And more of them climbing up here as well. And then the long beards charging through the breach into these night goblins. Those night goblins are not going to have much of an issue to deal with. These orc biggins are slightly more of a problem, but I think the, the long beards have probably got it. More long beards now streaming in. And here comes the spoopy, spoopy command group led by Belagar and Billy Connolly. Just getting stuck in there. Good work. There's Belagar there somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's Belagar. So these goblins are going to break very, very quickly. And that's good, because that means we can surge into the city, create a little roadblock here, and then bring our units in to deal with this blob and get our unit, get the get the Iron Drakes in so they can incinerate some more greenskins, because that's very... It's very satisfying to do that. It's it's a real... It's like popping bubble wrap. It's just... it's it's. I suppose it is popping greenskins. You're literally, like, incinerating, like, bursting them with heat. Feels good. Feels very good. The long beers now streaming into the city. And we're going to move a little, little command group over to deal with this blob over here. The Longbeards are doing fine. They're holding holding the line, although not doing a huge amount of damage. We've got some Longbeards of Great Weapons over here just finishing off the Goblin Archers. Then we've got another blob of Goblin Archers to deal with. We've also got some big uns, uh, some more biggins in the city. And of course, Azhag, the Slaughterer himself, who's very tired. I can sympathise, Azhag. I can sympathise. Iron Drake's moving up. We've got some green skins fleeing into the city. Oh, these... You know, they were. I mean... I'm fairly sure we incinerated some dwarves there as well, but... You know, if, if it feels good, I say do it. And it, it feels good to burn things. Oh yes, that that's good. Right, so they're the Iron Drakes having, you know, incinerated some of our own units. going to leave, I mean, I think they've done enough damage there. I mean, they have killed 54 and 61, respectively, so that's pretty good. We're going to move them up into the centre of the city here to deal with these units. Meanwhile, these Longbeards and the Jack Purvis, Mike Edmonds, uh, who's that over there? Malcolm Dixon, of course, Belagar and Billy Connolly, just going to mop up the Greenskins over here. Not that there's much to mop up anymore. Dealing with Azhag might be slightly difficult. But the Iron Drake's just moving up to the top of the top of the wall here. Top of the wall, top of the walkway even. The road. Uh, we do have some Orc Biggins advancing. But holy shit. I mean That's about half a unit incinerated in one blast. And then they're gonna fall back. And here comes Azhag's going to come and try and uh, help out as well. So what we're going to try and do is all the green skins, all the big ones seem to be hitting this line over here, which means we might be able to get our Iron Drakes around the flank and then just sort of incinerate this blob over here, which would be very, very nice. Uh, Longbeard's continuing to push the green skins back over there. Azhag, though, has seen probably the Crown of Sorcery said, uh, you better watch out, these guys have got flamethrowers. Uh, so he's going to go and try and deal with the Iron Drakes and almost catches them. But thankfully, they, the Longbeards move in to intercept him. The Iron Drakes pull out. And then we've got this little window over here. Which is very nice. I mean, for us, obviously. It's not so good for the... For the big ones. So lots of big ones being incinerated. As Hag is going to be tricky for us to deal with. So probably going to have to get some of the command group over here. Although they've got problems of their own as they've run into yet more big ones over here. It's like, uh, is it Jack Purvis? Mike Edmonds. Mike Edmonds is, is solo tanking a whole bunch of big ones. Uh, it looks like the Iron Drakes have, have done some good work there. 113 kills, 130 kills. That's, that's a lot of incinerated big ones right there. And they've had enough. They're off. Azhag's running away as well. He's shattered. 
But you know, what would... What would the end of that battle be without incinerating just a few more biggins? Just because it, it feels good. So we're just going to move the Iron Drakes up. And just, you know, let them do what they do best. I should get more Iron Drakes. Like, a lot more. Okay. Let's sack Nolan. Green Skinner. Yeah, yeah, sure. And can we get into this... Oh, I don't want to take attrition. I don't want to get... Oh, this is the worst. Okay, could I... No, not that one. Um... Okay, let's do that. Let's get a little bit of replenishment. That'd be fine. Tiny Ross, you can... More more training. I should get more Bugman's Rangers as well. How do I get Bugman's Rangers? Bugman's Rangers. I should get more Bugman's Rangers. Because um, they, they did a lot of damage. Billy Connolly, again, taking... I, I think maybe just any armor would be good, basically, because I think at this... Without armor, you just take a shit ton of damage. Maybe more melee defense. Just literally anything, just to stop you from dying. Malcolm. Malcolm. Let's give you ballistics. Yes, ballistics instructor. And we're still laying siege to that. That's continuing. That's fine fine Ozpin we're just gonna see what happens there I think and Warwick I will not. okay is oh Eshin doesn't have defenses I mean it's still got long beards and you're taking a lot of damage. Maybe we just go and deal with work bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, Warwick. Go north. Burn work bad to the ground. And that should then stop them from recruiting anything even vaguely useful. And Carl, I'm hoping you can grab Nullen. And we just need to deal with Karak Norn, Grunberg, and I think... Then it's just Kratatomen down here is their last settlement. I don't want to talk to you stunted kids. I want to maim you. Well, you haven't been doing a good job of that lately, have you? Five settlements. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, and then five. Fine. Good. Right, and then that'll be the green skins dealt with, and then we can concentrate with heading northward and dealing with this. I think Ozpin should be fine. Anger burns bright. Good. Hold on to that anger. You're gonna need it. Unfortunately, we'll have to see if his anger holds out next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.